Good morning. Good morning. It is time for the Monday moment. I am Marquise Martin Hayes and I am super excited. So good morning to you. I look forward to jumping in and connecting over the next couple of moments. So it's election season. How's it going to shake out? No one knows. Everybody has their hopes. But I learned something. I learned that for various reasons, some of it intentional, some of it environmental, but only about 50 to 60 percent on the high end of us tend to vote. I'm not here to say, rah, rah, go and vote. What I'm here to do is roll up my sleeves for a minute and remind us that regardless of who wins, you and I still got to get along. It doesn't matter that you think property is more important or I think humans are more important. It doesn't matter at all. What does matter is our ability to connect and communicate. You see, one of the things that's been happening in our country that is the hardest thing to bear is that fear has been on the rise. You've been afraid of me. I've been afraid of you. And we've been living in our heads as if it really matters. This election doesn't mean we're caught between a rock and a hard place. You're not stuck. Your life isn't over regardless of who wins this darn thing. You may have to make some adjustments, but the main adjustment you need to make is how to get along with me, how to interact with me, how to interact with your neighbor. How do I interact with you? Why? Because all the other stuff doesn't actually matter unless we figure out how to make it work with one another. On this Monday moment, this morning, regardless of what happens next week, what are you going to do differently? Right? We're easily manipulated by an issue or how someone communicates something and it distracts us from the main thing. The main thing is how we interact with one another because we define what happens in our communities, what happens in our country, what happens in our state. I've said it a lot this year, but I have to say it again. We've been duped into becoming armchair quarterbacks, relying on the government to do it or saying there's too much government to do it instead of taking the time to get our hands dirty and to partner with our peers, to partner with our neighbors. So my push this Monday is for you to step your game up. Step your game up. Find out who's not like you. Invite them into your home. Get connected. I know you're afraid and, and all of my family, like, blah, blah, blah. We've got to open up. The longer we stay close, the longer we hide behind or think our back's against the wall because our politician didn't win or this policy or tax cut or tax hike, we lose. We lose. When I say we, I mean you and I. I mean all of us. We don't have these perceived enemies out here that we continue to act like are taking over our lives or we have to protect ourselves against. That's all. BS, all hogwash. It's time that we start doing internal work. What's actually happening inside of me that makes me afraid? What in my personal experience, not what I saw on television, big difference. What in my personal experience has created that fear? What in my personal experience am I willing to hold on to and not move beyond as if it was law? Hmm. Or is it someone else's experience? Someone else's experience, trash. You just got to let that go. You got to let that go. The news, you got to let that go. You got to let that go because it's not reality. It's the moment or a moment in time that was highlighted for sensationalism. I didn't say it didn't occur. That's very different. But it doesn't have to make it your personal fear. Because if you're afraid and I'm afraid, and we're in the same space, it's not a good look. If you're afraid and you have children, that carries over into their life. Same is true for me. So the way to get out of our box is to pull ourselves, push ourselves, join a Facebook group, join, join, do something other than stay where you've been. Network in circles where there's more intelligence different than what you're used to. Find out and discover. Sit in somebody else's shoe. Sit in somebody else's perspective. 
gain some understanding beyond what you believe or even your perceived idea of what something is or is not. You know, one of the things that I love to do in my life, and, and I've grown to this, I'm not like I haven't arrived, but I've grown to this is I love that when something I believe, like kind of an inner belief, not like something on my mind. Oh, these are the facts. Oh, no, that wasn't the facts. It was this. I don't mean that. I mean, my own inclinations, right? How I think something is or someone is or a situation is. And then I find out I had it completely wrong. I've learned to embrace that. Do you want to know why? Because I grow. I grow. I get to grow out of my own stupor, out of my own limitations, out of my own perceptions, out of my own ideologies. I get to expand. And the problem that we have is that we are afraid to do that. We're more willing to cling on to things that don't make sense to us for the sake of feeling right, which is crazy. Because what you think you know, you don't know. It's just the lenses that you currently have that lends you the perception you've taken. And the only problem with that is it keeps us like this. Get out the game. Get out the game. Step back and see it for what it is. And then reconnect. One of my favorite movies is The Matrix. If you know anything about me, I love it. Why? Because I'm the one. Indeed, I am. And so are you. In your situation, you're the one. The question is, will you show up? Will you? When will you believe that you are the one? Not your freaking politician. Not your ideologies, that you're the one to make the difference. Not convince somebody of what you believe. It's a little different, isn't it? It's not your job. But your job is to connect and bring what you have to the table and then exchange. Not take over, not dominate, not put down, not reject. Exchange and see where things go. It doesn't matter that I believe what you believe or you believe what I believe. It's that we know and believe that we both matter. You see, because I can be a humanitarian while someone else focuses on capitalism. That's not a problem. They can both merge. That's not a problem. Not a problem at all. There are companies doing it. We just hear more about the hype that keeps us disconnected. So whether your candidate wins or lose, or maybe your candidate isn't even in this election, I, I it, maybe they're not. You still got to get off your arse and do something. You still have a personal responsibility and stop avoiding it. Stop avoiding it. Stop allowing someone else to speak on your behalf. Stop allowing someone else to shape your belief. And instead, get engaged in exchange. This is the Monday moment. You are the one. I'm Marquis Martin Hayes. Peace.